Hi, and welcome to Learn DaVinci Resolve. And today I'm going to show you how to blur out individual objects, whether it's a face for something like the news or a documentary or something like a license plate. I'm going to show you how to track it and blur it out. I think a lot of people are going to want to learn something like this. And you don't have to blur. You can change the color. You can do any type of effect on it that you want but blurring is just a, an easy thing. So we're gonna start with that. So I'm going, I've got two clips here. I've got one of me talking and I have one of the back of my car with the license plate. So I'm gonna to go to the color tab. And first one I'll do is gonna be my face here. And this one I'm gonna do really easy. I'm just gonna do a circle and I'm gonna bring it up over my face here and kind of bring it into size and just give it a little extra breathing room there and maybe feather it out a little bit. All right. And now if I go and blur anything, well, that's fine. It will work. Let's see that. Okay. But if I play, you know, as long as I don't move too much, that'll work. But if I moved too far out of frame, then um, it's going to get all wonky. So the best thing we can do is to track it. So I'm going to go to my tracker. I want to make sure I'm on clip, that I'm on cloud tracker, and I'm going to hit play or track forward in the tracker. Now you can see it's putting dots around my face there, and it's actually tracking the movement of my head. Pretty cool. And then since I already have the blur effect on there, as soon as I stop this, we'll see how that blur has actually tracked to my head. Let's go and take a look and turn that off. We'll go back here and I'll hit play. So now no matter how I move, the face is still blurred. All right, we're going to go to the next example. We have the car here and I've got some movement in here. So quite a bit of movement. So something that simple isn't going to work. Fortunately, this is a nice, simple um, rectangle or polygon. So it's going to be pretty easy to track. Again, I'm going to go to my power window and I'm going to select polygon. And I'm going to grab the edges and just take them to the side of the license plate frame and I'll grab that one and I'll bring it over and now I'm just gonna zoom in so I can make sure that it's lined up nice on the frame there and I'll raise this one up just a hair and I'll go select fit now if I play this of course well it's gonna be way out of frame if I try and blur it. So again, we'll go over to the tracker and make sure my clip cloud tracker hit track forward and watch this. It sticks right to that frame. So now I'm going to go back to my power window and probably going to soften that up a hair and we'll add the blur effect. And you see, Blur just isn't quite doing it. I st still can make it out even with the blur turned all the way up. So I need to try something a little different here. I'm going to go up to my effects. I open up the open effects if you don't have it open. I'm going to go to my Gaussian blur here, but I want to make sure I turn my uh, softness back down. That way uh, it doesn't affect it. I'll do all my controls within the Gaussian blur and I can crank those settings up a little bit, maybe blur the outside. So it's just not as sharp on there. And now, uh, we'll play that. And we have hidden that license plate. So in another video, I'm going to use the same footage, and instead of blurring the license plate, we're going to replace it with something else using corner pin. So watch for that video. So that's it for blurring 
an individual object, whether it's a face, a license plate, whatever you want to do to blur it out or change the color or change the, the brightness, you can define an area using power windows, track them using the tracker, and then apply any effect, whether it's blur or color, sharpening, dehazing, any of the open effects, anything that you want to do will only affect the things that are in that power window. So make sure you like it, subscribe, check the bell icon so you get notified every time. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks for all the subscribers out there. You guys mean a lot to me. You make me keep doing this. So have a good one. I will catch you later. Bye-bye.